Hi everyone, this is Moni Singh and welcome to Teaching STEM. So we are on part two of problem solving. And um, remember, acceptance is the part one, right? Um, accepting that problems are going to happen, problems have a solution, and um, believing that you are capable um, either now or in the future of uh, being able to cope with that problem. Um, so with any problem, uh, there's an important aspect to think about, right? Whatever the situation, whatever the problem may be, there are, there are two things that are always under your control, two things, and only those two things that are in your control, okay? Uh, one is how you think about it. Number two is how you act. Think and act, your thoughts and actions. Those are the only two things that you control. Um, anything else is actually outside of your control, your thoughts and your actions, right? So um, let's talk about the thought um, in terms of how, how to have that problem-solving mindset. Um, the way the way I look at and I recommend people to look at any kind of problem is to think of it as an opportunity. Problems equal opportunities. Now, um, what kind of opportunity is it, right? So it's basically an opportunity where you're able to uh, fix something. You're solving a problem, right? You're solving something. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to learn something new um, or an opportunity to improve yourself. In any case, it becomes an opportunity um, and that you can capitalize on. So I remember um, uh, the movie Matrix and maybe you, you know about that movie. I mean, it was a it was a hit. I think they came up with a trilogy um, back in the um, early 2000s, I believe. And if you haven't watched the movie, please do. I think it's a very nice um, science fiction movie, but it's very close to, you know, the, the virtual world and everything else that we are living in today. Um, so Matrix. So uh, Keanu Reeves, that's, he's the, the male lead, and then Trinity, the female lead, I forget her name, the actual actress. So um, there's, a, there's a scene, I think it's in the first movie, the Matrix uh, first movie, where they are in a in this virtual world so basically what happens is that all these characters um they are um they are actually sitting in a room and plugged to a network literally their brains are plugged and um and then they are in a virtual world um with their uh, in the real life the brains are plugged into the network and in the virtual world is where all the action is taking place most of the action in that movie so they're in this virtual setting um and uh, they are trying to escape and um, so they come to the place where there's a helicopter um, and that's their escape route. That's the way they can escape from whatever they're running from. And so Neo, the, the male character, he turns towards uh, Trinity and says, hey, do you know how to fly this thing? And Trinity responds back saying, not yet. And then she calls into um, uh, the person who's actually physically in the room where their brains are plugged into the network. And she says, hey, can you download uh, the program to fly a B-12 helicopter? And this guy downloads. And then she just blinks her eyes a couple of times and she says, let's go. So she's ready for it. She knows how to fly it. And she, <laughs> she's ready to go and uh, uh, take the helicopter and escape from, uh, from this, this situation they are in. So when you think about this, right, um, and I talked about my, my toilet bowl, the toilet leaky toilet bowl experience, right? The toilet bowl is leaking. Um, what I did is a Google search and I find, okay, here are the four possible things that can be wrong. And you go step one, mm, didn't work. Step two, didn't work. Step three, yep, that hits. And, you know, here, boom, you solve the problem. So in a, not in a literal sense, there was not a program that got downloaded to my brain, but in today's world, yeah, you can Google or go on, a, on YouTube or some of the other um, pathways and find a solution to whatever you're trying to, um, trying to deal with. And in that process, I learned something new, um, which was quite empowering, right? I learned something on how to deal with uh, at least some of these basic issues with um, um, maintaining. Uh, and I, of course, I could have called somebody for that as well. But I think it's just a point where you're able to learn something new. So if you take that, that brain hack, literally it's a mind hack, when you are faced with a problem, and instead of saying, why me? Why does it need to happen to me again? I'm already dealing with hundreds of things and here is one more. Instead of all that, that thought process, which becomes, which is very negative, it really kind of gets you, pulls you down. Right, it's that feeling of being a victim. 
instead of all of that, if we just did a simple mind hack and said, oh, I got one more opportunity. I just got another opportunity. So, hey, I just got one more problem to deal with. You say, hey, I have an opportunity. And now the mindset completely changes. Now you are thinking in a completely different way of, okay, how do I capitalize on this opportunity, right? Can I learn something new? Can I solve a problem? Can I fix something? Um, is there a way, is there something in this where I can improve myself? And that mind hack is absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend you uh, to try that out in whatever kind of problems that you might be dealing with, whether it's dealing with your own you know, business, getting your business off the ground or your professional life, trying to set this thing uh, your STEM classes going, or even your personal life, um, uh, that mind hack works. So try that out. And of course, as you are working with children, the same kind of um, mindset um, information will be very helpful for children too. Um, that uh, you, you, you know, uh, not about, hey, you're stuck in a problem. Hey, you just got an opportunity. Let's think, let's look at that and see what's going on. Why is this creation that you made um, is not working and how do we improve this design so that we can make this um, this contraption work the way you planned it out to be. So um, keep that thought process in your mind. Uh, problems equal opportunities. Till then, bye.